So we were out yesterday with this machine, the 790 and the FD745 head right here. And we were seeing just extreme sickle cutter bar loss. It just, this is when I was cutting a half a head, so that built up there regardless, but it shouldn't have. But they're just, it, the sickle is just full of beans. Look at them all. Just solid with beans all over. So that's something that we've never seen because we've always had the Crary Aerial. Well, going to a draper, everyone said, ah, you don't need a wind system on a draper unless you're in like dry beans or some short, short beans. Well, we're in really tall beans, but what we're seeing is the beans potted so low to the ground this year that we're cutting a lot of them pods in half and a lot of them beans are getting up on top of the sickle here. Right in this rock dam here and they're just sitting there and then they eventually fall off plus they're exploding all over and flying all over the place back down onto the ground we estimate it to be about three to maybe four bushel an acre that's on the ground which is terrible absolutely terrible we're considering we talked to crary when we were up at big iron they have a wind bar for this it is not the curry area like we've been running for ever since the early 90s we've ran the Crary Aerial and are very satisfied with it so that's why we're looking at Crary for a wind system. I actually called them here a little bit ago and I think they're actually going to be coming out with a 45 foot green and yellow wind system and so this combine I'm afraid might not be out today. It's going to be sitting in the shed and we're going to be installing this thing. We're going to see they said about eight hour install with four guys. I told Eric, I said, well, we're both a guy and a half, so we'll get her done. So we're gonna get this thing, on, get that wind system on this beast today. Hopefully, they're getting it loaded up as we speak, and heading down from Fargo, so I'm a little nervous, but it definitely should pay for itself. I mean, we've seen the losses on the ground. That is evident that there's losses on the ground. We've always ran air system, so we're gonna see how this does. We tried it, that's what we told deer, they asked us if we were going to put a wind system on it when we bought it because they know that we're avid air system guys. And we said, no, we'll try it. Well, we tried it, and I'm not a fan of the losses off the sickle. Hey, big Swede. Hey, buddy. I was just telling him about how uh, touch my we have to put a wind system on it because the losses are immense. Yeah. Terrible. No, I think it'll pay off. I know it will. Yeah, what did we say? 800 acres is all we got to cover to pay for it system? For a three bushel loss or save now with the wind system. Yeah. It's going to be do? sad to see it sitting in the yard all day, but we got to do it. Save the crust for me. I'm not a guy that can have a lunch. What time is it? Not even 8 o'clock and I'm already eating my lunch. The beans are ready. First lunch since spring. Yeah, it's like me last night. When there's food in the lunch box, you're just going to eat it no matter what. You got on the radio and was like, well, I'm not hungry, but I'm eating anyways. <laughs> Why is it making so much noise? Do not show this to Doug. <laughs> it needs to be replaced, but we ain't got time. We need an upgrade. We need an upgrade. That's a lot of stuff. We've been here like 10 minutes. And I already got my side installed. Hold on. Struggling. Struggling. <laughs> so wait, why do you bring the camera over when I'm still installing my side to make it seem like I'm slower? <laughs> and we got parts laying all over the shop. It's like Christmas. It is like another, Christmas. Another one to unwrap. Yeah, look at all that. So this is Mitch. He's helping us out right, to install this wind system today. Just We're come together. We did. We should have it done in about two hours, right? Two, three hours. Two, uh, three hours. <laughs> pretty yellow. 
It is pretty. Bubble wrap. There's no paint yet. There's that bolt I lost. Can you be quiet over here? We're trying to videotape. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I have to do that, otherwise everyone's nervous. Well, maybe I still are. <laughs> oh, you got the wrong color tools here. We would give you such low prices, we have to get those kind of cool tools so we can I deliver suppose, those low costs I to you. I understand all about the tight budget. Yeah. <laughs> I think I actually really scared him. Sorry. Sorry, Ben. Looking good, boys. Just putting the last few pieces on. That's Sweet. exciting. Square hole or the round hole? <laughs> well, depends your application, I we suppose. Go Look at the concentration here. Five sixteenths hearts. I'm not certain. Can you hear the crickets playing in the background? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking it must be. Did you get her? Oh, yeah. You got her okay. pulled through? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. go back over there then. Why? Because I got to feed. So I'm up here messing around in the interior pulling wiring harnesses that controls the pitch and the airflow amount. You can turn the airflow off. So Eric is right down there with his fish, pulling the wires out. We'll do some hole drilling. Yep, jeez. Aggressive enough, my goodness. So I drilled a hole right here. Hope that don't affect the lease price. I think I'm gonna put the controller somewhere in this area. That controls it all. There's also a remote. So if you had a guy that was following you with an ATV or a pickup and was driving beside you and didn't like how it was going, they can use the remote to pitch it from their vehicle. Isn't that fancy? I like it. Didn't even know it had that option. See now, doesn't that look nice? I can fore and aft, which means pitch the wind forward or backwards, and I can close fan if I think there's too much wind. Oh, I'm excited. What do you think? It's going quick. It is. They said six hours. And it's been two. <laughs> it's been more than two, but I'll give it to you. It's too bad the head's all dirty. Can't even take a picture of it because the head's so dirty. Does it come with a free wash job? No. <laughs> you will turn the air on and clean right up. There we go. Probably will. How fast did you say the air comes out of these? A little over 200 miles an hour, 220. 220 miles an hour. That will blow beans to your eyeball. You know what I see here, Eric? More opportunity to mount lights. More lights. We could put them across the whole front end. You'd see us from Mars. I think we double timed this. Yeah, we did. Well, maybe we should go into uh, putting aerials on this winter. Yeah, that'd be fun. Okay. Still plant you excited? Ice. I might actually get the combine it in. Yeah, yeah. we're going go now. And to all you children out there, get into assembly of new equipment and do it right. Yeah, do it the right. The first time. We got a professional here. Okay, clean up. His name is, what's his name? Ben. Ben, ben is the professional here from ben? Prairie, yes. guiding us and just pointing and yelling. He this, yells a lot though. These just, are Ben. You know, why can't I have nice things like this? I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. I don't, don't, don't cut off my ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Look at this here. You can't. This is now your job. You adjust my air I'll take from, that in the grain cart. from the grain cart. <laughs> you just take care of all that. Look at that. Just don't hit the ground. You can hit the ground. You don't want to back up, they said, with it. But I don't think you're supposed to back up with a bean head, anyways. So you should get 
run over by the bean head if you back up with the bean head down, okay? Yeah. That's pretty nice. I can add it to my other necklace where I have my whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Your rape whistle? Well. <laughs> you just never know nowadays. I've had some, I've been through some tough times. <laughs> Good job. Good Thank job. You. Look at see how the camera's flipped the wrong way. See from you hold the camera. Ca there we go. Hey, how's it going? So there might be one thing that you notice about this one rather than an air system on a smaller head is when you go to 45 feet they feed the tube from both sides of the head that allows much more air flow and a lot more consistent so that it ain't pressurizing one side more than the other i got rid of the blue ones oh boy he's got new aviators and he is ready to cart we're ready well, thanks for coming, guys. We hey, appreciate no it. Yeah. Thanks for uh, getting us all fixed up, set up correctly. Anytime. Yeah, you're welcome. Look forward to business in the future. <laughs> I hope harvest goes well for you. And yeah, I yield bumper crop, right? <laughs> well, it's going to get better now. Yeah. What do you say, four bushel better? Two to four. Two to four. We were figuring three. That makes a payoff in about 830-ish acres. Yeah. You know, I already hit my head. On this, hooking up the thing. Oh, <laughs> well, that's tall, tall people problems. You know? So we're unhooking so we can go to the field and cut some beans. Super excited. So guys, as you can see, we've been uh, Crary Aerial supporters since 1992. We've had them on every single flex hut that we've ever owned. That's why we looked at them when we went to the wind system. Uh, I think they're a very good company. We obviously stuck with them. We got the Wayne's Protile, which is also a Crary product. I also want to test out one of their new ditchers. Hey, Crary, I want to test out one of your ditchers. Well, let's quit messing around and let's go cut some dang beans already. Come on. Gotta be what, 15 minutes into the video and we haven't even left the yard? Let's do this! This is Air Force One asking tower for clearance. If you were telling me the volume was down. This is Air Force One asking for clearance from the tower. Okay, iPad, when you turn No on. clearance! Come on! Don't you dare bug the tower. Come on, Goose. Pull up, Goose. Pull up. Oh gosh, I love the guys I work with. First time with this one to the field, so he's getting all his settings set the way he likes them. I thought I had it set, but he must be double checking or something. Maybe I didn't have it the way he likes it. I, I just can't get in the field. Hurry it up! Come on, dug out! No, I gotta sit here. I don't know. Maybe I'll 
I'll maybe head north from here. And then you can go up there and unhook it. So we got her out. We had a little bit of an issue with the slip clutch was slipping. Tighten that up caught that within like 150 feet so that was no big deal tighten that up to spec and immediately what I have noticed is before the beans were falling on top of each other and being it's so wide of a head they were getting so deep that it was kind of like pushing the beans close to the center like they were getting pushed out they were still coming in the head but they were getting really piled up now the wind is actually pushing them onto the conveyor belt by I would say maybe eight to 10 inches, it's pushing it up the belt, allowing the crop to not ride on that sickle and cut pods off the whole way. The other thing I've seen is that that sickle cutter bar, there ain't a bean on it. I mean, there ain't one bean on it, they're all flying in. I was cutting a half a head a little bit ago and I was watching where they, on that edge row, which was right down below me here, and I could see the sickle cutting them, popping the bean open, and they were flying up and bouncing across the draper and getting sucked in. So I'm very impressed. But with that being said, she is taking a lot more horsepower. Very noticeable on how much horsepower it takes, but in the long and the short of it is, we don't work this hard all year to watch it all fall on the ground or two to four bushel to an acre fall on the ground. If you're out here, what goes in the combine should stay in the combine. So basically, to sum that all up, we're out here to get every bean that we possibly can, and this system I'm very impressed with. So I'm glad we got to run it yesterday so that we could see the difference today when having the wind bar on. It's awesome. So I was gonna jump out and show you guys how clean that sickle bar is and then I realized that I, I'm stuck, I'm trapped. That's gonna be a horrible mess. The trick is to open the door very, very slowly and it's still gonna be terrible. I should get out more often. Good night. It's done that to me this year. Scare the heck out of me. Alarm if the separator's coasting. So here's another awesome thing. This here blows your feeder house off so you don't get a buildup on your feeder house. I did tell them I want another one to put on the front to blow this back down into the head. Whoa. So that happens from the wind system just blowing up leaves and stuff out of the head. Small price to pay for the gain. So I literally just quit a pass there. Look at this boys and ladies. Look at that. You see any beans? You see a one? Flash back and show them the side by side of what this looked like yesterday. Literally yesterday when the beans were just that full. These right here are blowing air out at 220 miles an hour right into the head. Also, this brush kit here keeps trash from blowing up underneath and getting behind the belts. So that's another 
very nice option to have. The Lancota shark fin still doing what it should. Yeah, I'm impressed. Well worth the money. Well worth the money. Last load for the night. Filling her up. She ain't gonna be plump full, but we'll be close to two semis. That number right there, 119,860. Woo! That's crazy. It's a big sucker. All right, guys, that's a wrap for tonight. We're gonna take the head off, bring her back to the farm. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe to watch the next one. See you next time.